X marks the spot. Now, how do you excavate this thing? What kind of shovel do we need? Now, or a pitch, no, not pitchfork. Whatever the dwarves use. <laughs> X is the second studio album released by Ed Sheeran. Unlike the album Plus, I do have a little bit more of a relationship with this album with its inception. I remember when it came out, I remember listening to a lot of the songs. I remember a lot of those songs being played in my apartment uh, with my roommates. And it's interesting because there's a lot of these songs, particularly the marketed singles and hits, where I have kind of a hit or miss uh, factor to it. Don't get me wrong, I think all of the marketed singles, at least, do have at least some really good aspects to them. But some of them I connect with more than others. For example, the song Sing, that one, um, I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't feel like that that should have been marketed as a single. Not that it doesn't really deserve to be, but I felt like it could have been more effective as a deep track. So... I don't know, but I'm glad everyone else likes it. The song Photograph, I do think it's enjoyable to listen to. However, I feel like it also borderlines on melodramatic sometimes. And I don't recall it being overplayed, but I did get a little tired of hearing it. I felt like not every instance on the radio was the appropriate time. That's probably just me. All the same. It's a good song, just not always for me. But then we get to the song Thinking Out Loud. This is a song that I think everyone just adored. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, I think. Especially complimenting it with the music video. You haven't seen it, go watch it. You'll fall in love with it. And I don't think it's one of Ed's more revolutionary songs, but it is geared toward uh, some very particular heartstrings that I think a lot of people can relate to. So now we've talked about that. What about the rest of the album? I feel like the concerns I had with Plus were slightly, not super, but slightly amplified in this. Ed continues to talk about um, smoking and or drugs and, uh, booze or alcohol, wh whatever you want to call it. Ed, you talk about a lot of substances. Okay. And sure you can do that. That's fine. I just find it interesting in some of the settings that it happens. That's all. I just find it a little bit different. Maybe it's because I'm used to listening to that stuff in hip hop and certain pop songs. I don't believe that, but it could be. When you listen to an album multiple times and you hear these themes kind of reoccur, especially when you also just listen to his other album, it makes you wonder if Ed's ever been or needed or been recommended rehab. Just throwing it out there. Or simple therapy. Who knows? Not trying to imply anything. Don't be hating on me, okay? I'm just saying tends to happen. Okay? Just 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 throwing it out there. Now let's get back to the positives. Because I did find a few other songs in here where I'm just like, oh. Well that was touching. Such as the song, and I hope I pronounce this right, Tenerife C. Ed's strengths definitely lie in the tender love songs. He is good at other things, but I think that is his great strength. Also including the song A Fire Love. Another one of those songs where it has a gorgeous ending. This Irish strings kind of ending. Mmm. Give me more of that. 
give me some musicality, musicianship. That is where you shine. And again, from the last album uh, in Plus, I mentioned I didn't really feel or jive with a lot of his, I'm going to use the air quotes again, rapping. I don't know, like, a, a lot of it can be clever, but the style is still not landing for me personally. However, however, the song Shirt Sleeves, he did some homework in making that song. It's got a hip-hop sample from one of the most legitimate beats out there. I was impressed that he chose that beat to sample. So, good for you, man. So, what happens with this album? Well, I think overall, I think everyone else kind of liked this album a little bit more. I could be wrong, but I feel like the world wanted more Ed Sheeran. They got it, and they loved it. Especially, you know, with Thinking Out Loud, it it was bound to happen, okay? I think I personally like the A-Team better, but I do like that song as well. It's a good follow-up. So, after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 91%, creativity 72%, expression and lyrics 75%, I'm going to give this album a good slash okay. I do think I personally would listen to plus more than X. It's probably the reverse for most other people. I think he probably felt a little bit more confident in risking a little bit more and amplifying, I think that's the right word here, to amplify a little bit more about what he did in that album. And some of it paid off, and some of it, I think I personally was just like, you're still pulling out good things, but there's some things I think you need to weed out or at least trim the edges a little bit more. That's kind of what I got at the moment. But still, plenty of good songs in here. I will listen to several songs in this album. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time. So